Hey everyone. If you haven't already guessed, we're looking at ukulele today. I think the hype train is really building on this one now as the game nears its launch date of the 11th of April. Being so close, it's the perfect time to have a look at what this game is all about. The game was crowdfunded on Kickstarter back in 2015 and made over 2 million pounds from 73,000 backers and was one of the fastest funded projects in Kickstarter history. The game is being published by Team17 and is being developed by Playtonic Games, a studio which is comprised of a number of staff from Rare back in its heyday during the Nintendo 64 era, with games such as Banjo-Kazooie, GoldenEye and Donkey Kong 64 under their belt. The music for Ukulele is being composed by legendary video game composer Grant Kirkhope, who also composed soundtracks for the games I just mentioned. Ukulele aims to bring back the buddy duo platformer formula made popular with games such as Banjo-Kazooie and is heavily influenced by this, being named the spiritual successor to Banjo-Kazooie and it really shows. The mechanics, the humour, the gameplay and the art style are all reminiscent of Banjo-Kazooie and what made that game so great. Caught up in all this hype for what could potentially be the Banjo-Kazooie style game we've been waiting for especially after the colossal flop that was Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts, I pre-purchased this game on PC. With that pre-order, you also get access to a toy box mode which can be played right now and gives you a taste of the feel for ukulele, as well as some core game mechanics to mess around with. Think of it as a test level, but if you keep watching, I'll show you how it looks and what I think about how it plays keeping in mind that this is quite an early build in comparison to what the final product will be when it launches on the 11th of April. Okay, we're here in the toy box. But uh, yeah, so this is, uh, as you can probably see, a little bit bare bones in comparison to the footage you just saw of the actual game, which is due to come out soon. But um, yeah, I think it'll give us a good idea of what the game feels like at least and you know how it plays. Um, but uh, there's only one way to find out, and that's to actually play. So we've just dropped in. This little robot dude on the right there is uh, talking to us. And uh, I'm playing with a Xbox One controller as well. So it has native support for that, which is pretty cool. So we'll give it a go. And here we go. We're in control. Oh, yeah. It's just like Banjo-Kazooie. <laughs> I'm going to try and not be too much in the way of comparing this to Banjo-Kazooie, but it's hard not to. I mean, if you look how much, how similar it is, and all the sort of buddy combos you can do and stuff like that, but uh, we'll just carry on. I think the humor's a bit, uh, a bit the same as well, but that's what we love about it. Meat beans. <laughs> Alright. A right old lark. That's right, mate. Let's go. So yeah, you'll see that the collectibles are also uh very banjo because I, mean, no, I know I already said that I'm not going to try and compare it too much, but look, I'm going to have to because it's exactly what it is. It's exactly what everybody wanted. So, ignore what I said before. I'm comparing this to Banjo Kazooie because that's what it is. And I missed that button. And I missed it again. What is wrong with me? It's the friggin' first thing. Alright. So, yeah. Damn devs. So yeah, so the idea of this little of this little demo is just to uh, run around and you can collect these quills. So this is like the equivalent of the notes from Banjo-Kazooie, you probably remember. And um, 
So there's 100 of them in the level, and if you get all 100, you get a pagey, which is like the new jiggy. So <laughs> we'll see if we can get a few. I don't think it takes. I mean, there's people who are speed running this now who are actually, you know, destroying it in you know, under five minutes. But uh, I'm obviously not that good, so I'm just going to play it and show you a little bit of it. Um, and we'll just go from there. So we'll smash this open. Alright, cool. So there's also a bunch of combo moves you can do between Yuka and Laylee. Like spin around in a circle like that. No, you can um, do a spring jump and then cl like glide down to safety. There's um, your regular attack, which is just a spin attack, which I did before to open that chest. Um, and then there's kind of like the, you know, when Kazooie jumped out of the backpack to run, you got this instead, which is like rolling. Oh, got all of them. Sweet. And we'll go... We'll go ahead and check out a little bit, you know, a few of the areas around here. Um, here's a few of the moves, and I'll just tell you what I think about it. It does feel quite good. I'll have to say that. Even for what is meant to be quite an early version of the game, it does feel, you know, quite... Quite polished even from a control perspective, um, and it looks damn good. I really like the art style of this game. I think it's quite impressive. It's that perfect styling that uh, that everyone remembers from the classic rare games of past, uh, especially Banjo Kazooie. And I think it's it's great because it's extremely faithful to what uh, what those games were. And that's important. I think that's what everybody wanted. Let's just roll our way up. Oh. Roll our way around here and collect some stuff. There's not a huge amount to do in this uh, in this this demo, but um, you know, it'll probably tide me over at least to show off to people and you know make a YouTube video about um, until the game comes out. What's it? Uh, April 11th it comes out, which I believe is probably April 12th here in Australia. Um, just because of time differences and stuff. Got to be fair to the US and other countries. <laughs> but um, that's alright. We'll wait. <laughs> so that's the type of humor that's great about these games. Uh, it's, it's been sorely missed, I think. I don't think there's really been anything you know similar before. That was a bit of chance for some feedback to the uh, to the devs. <laughs> uh, I'm really looking forward to this game coming out. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So it's coming out on PC, Xbox One, PS4, and since they scrapped the Wii U version, it's also coming out on the Switch. So. I suppose it'll be good to have a portable version of the game on the Switch. I, I don't know how well the Switch will perform. I mean, I don't know what its specs and stuff are like. Who knows? But, um... Time will tell. Oh, I missed it. Oh. Let's roll on. So this does show a few, uh... Different, you know... Weather styles and you know animations, different bits and pieces like that. You know the water effects. We can learn to swim. You know, it, it feels pretty good. I mean, I think there is still and the same thing that plagued um, other games of this type. You know, um, some camera issues. There are times I feel when the camera fights you. A little bit, um, and I, I don't. You know, I'm not a huge fan of that. Hopefully they've fixed it. I mean, it looked like they were asking for feedback on camera work and things. So I think uh, I think there's a bit of faith that they'll sort it out. But time will tell. Anyway, let's just keep going. Just roll like crazy through the wind.
we'll press all these buttons and get all our stuff. But yeah, so there's a, there's a hundred of these quills. I'm not going to get all of them. But um, you know, all in all, there's not a huge amount that I can say about this, and it wouldn't be fair to the game to comment on something like this massively because it definitely doesn't define the game, given that you know it's still in in its release window at the moment. So we're going to have to play the waiting game on a lot of this. But um, there's been some new footage out. Um, they've you know they've done, they've announced multiplayer. I think it's going to be quite a fully fledged game, which is great, especially for a Kickstarter game, because there's so many Kickstarter games out there that just don't cut the mustard and don't really get anywhere. You know, they'll be eternally in in uh, in beta stages or things like that, and it just really never gets anywhere. But I think with the backing that this game has from such elite developers, um, you know, they're real veterans. I think we can have some faith that what will happen here is actually going to be quite something. Ah, oh, I stuffed it up. Oh well. We'll fly over here. Yeah, but there's just so sim so many similarities, and it's great that they're able to actually, you know, make a, a game look like this, like the, like it used to. It's like ultimate nostalgia trip for anyone who grew up in the 90s, like myself, sitting in front of the Nintendo 64 playing Banjo Kazooie and Banjo Tooie and stuff like that. But um, look, I mean. What else can you say? I have good... I have a lot of faith that this game, when it comes out, will be fantastic. And I think they're really doing the gaming community a bit of a service bringing this out. I mean, they knew it would sell. They'd do it. They knew as soon as they got together and put something like this out, the world would lap it up. And they absolutely have. But, um... Look, I'm just excited. I think it's a really, really cool thing that they've done. And, you know... They've managed to get around every corner about, you know, avo avoiding copyright infringement. So, I think it works really well. Check out some of the footage that's out there as well, because there's a whole bunch of new stuff. As I said, there's the multiplayer component now, which looks cool. I'll, you know, add a bit extra um, to the game. And look, see stuff like that. It looks, it looks awesome. I think. But uh, yeah, anyway, so. That's it though. I just wanted to give you a little quick sneak peek of what this game looks like, what it's all about. I know that this toy box has been out for some time now, especially for backers of the original Kickstarter. Um, but yeah, you can check it out um, if yourself if you pre-order the game on Steam. I'll put a link to the Steam uh, the Steam page in the in the comments below description rather. And uh, yeah, I mean, let me know what you think. I'm really interested interested to know what other people think of this game because I know there's some controversy around the game maybe not having. Um, as much content as people would like or some of the levels from what they've seen in the gameplay trailers and things look kind of empty but I don't know I think it's just a matter that we're gonna have to wait and see because you know with this sort of stuff it's really hard to tell and I know that the devs are aware that there's a lot riding on this game for their reputation and for the fans so I feel as though they'll they'll put one together that's really really good so only time will tell but uh, yeah so that's been ukulele toy box when the game launches on the 11th, which is the 12th for us, as I said, um, I'll probably do another quick video. I don't know if I'll do a series about it, because that's a long-winded thing. But uh, I might do a couple of videos just to show it off at, when it comes out. But anyway, as I said, let me know what you think about this game. I'm really curious to know what other people's opinions are, especially if you've already played this toy box, or even if you've been lucky enough to play the actual game. Uh, that'd be really cool to know what it's all about and see you know, how it really does feel and you know, in a more completed state. But anyway, so thanks for watching. Uh, leave a comment in the comment section below and a like if you like what you saw and uh, if you like particularly to uh, hit that subscribe button I'll have some more videos out soon. So thanks for watching. Yeah.